Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, before we start our today class, uh, this is the okay, the conclusion that you learned before. Number one, for cyclic. Okay, cyclic means quadrilateral in in circle. Okay, quadrilateral in circle. Every vertex of quadrilateral must touch the circumference. So A plus C, the opposite angle, A plus C equal to 180. B plus D equal to 180. That is opposite angle. Angle E equal to angle C. Angle E equal to angle C. Okay, angle E equal to angle C. Angle A plus E, A plus C. E equal to 180. Okay, that is the first property. Second property, if we have a circle and one line touch the circle, okay, one line touch one point in circle, this is called tangent line. Okay, tangent line. And the angle between the radius and tangent line is 90 degrees. This is tangent line. Okay, that is the previous lesson. But today lesson, we learn triangle in circle. Okay, triangle in circle. So triangle in circle means you have a uh, one triangle inside circle and every vertex of triangle must touch the circle. Angle S, angle C and angle Q. And okay, angle X is equal to angle Y. Angle X equal to angle Y. This is uh this is equal. And one more, angle uh, theta is equal angle beta. Okay. The angle between the chord, this is chord, the angle between the chord and tangent line, okay, chord and tangent line, this angle, are equal to the angle at the alternate segment subtended by the chord means this angle. Okay. Angle theta equal to angle beta. And now how to prove uh, this segment? How to prove this segment? Let's see. Angle G. How to get angle G? This is 90 degrees at the right hand side. So left hand side also 90 degrees. So to get G equal to 90 degrees minus X. That is G. And E also equal to G because this is isosceles triangle. This radius, okay, this is radius, this is radius. This is isosceles triangle. When the sides are same, the angle is also same. That's why E equal to G. So how to get F? How to get F? F is equal to 180, because this is one triangle, 180 minus 2G. Because E equal to G, right? When here G, here also G. So, minus 2G. Okay. Now, G is equal to, okay, G is equal to, one, uh, G 
is 1990 minus x. So, f equal to 180 minus 180 plus 2x. Where I get uh, g, 90 minus x from this uh, equation. Okay, from first equation, g equal to 90 minus x. So, f equal to 2x. This is 0. So, f equal to 2x. F equal to 2x. This is rocket. This is rocket. So, so, y equal to half from f. This is rocket. So, y equal to half from f. So, f is 2x. So, that's why y equal to x. Okay. So, this is how to prove angle y equal to angle X. Okay, so now example 17. Page 156. Can look at your textbook. The diagram on the right shows triangle KLM and PMN. It's a tangent to the circle. This is tangent. Determine the angle in the alternate segment for angle PMK. So which one is angle? Uh, in the alternate segment. Alternate segment. This is PMK. So the angle. In the alternate segment is angle KLM. This is outside, exterior, and here interior. And now angle NML. Which one is the uh, equal angle? NML. This is exterior angle. Okay. So the angle is angle LKM. Okay, next. Example 18, given the curve, and this is tangent, okay, tangent, triangle, A, B, K, L, M. Here 60 degrees, and here Y, here X, and here 50, 4 degrees. So how to get? Uh, X and Y. KLM is tangent. So how to get X? X. This is interior. Okay, opposite. The okay, opposite angle. And exterior. So X equal to 60 degrees. Okay. Alternate segment. Angle 60 equal to Next, B. What is the value of Y? Okay, this is interior angle. This is exterior angle. The opposite. So this is 54 degrees. Okay. Next. We learn about common tangent. Okay, common tangent. Example nineteen. We have two circles here and smaller. This is center, this is center. Engine 
to send in line P Q R S. This is trapezium. A B. This is three cm. Four cm. And here is. The diagram on the right shows two circles, center A and B, with radius 4 and 3, respectively. Given that PQRS, PQRS is a common tangent. Okay, to both circles, calculate the value of X. Okay. If tangent, okay, the angle between radius and tangent should be 90 degrees. That is 90 degrees. And now, this is 4. This is 4. Radius for the biggest uh, circle. This is 4. And here 3. So the length is 7. The length is 7. Okay. Sorry. We draw the triangle inside the trapezium. Let's say I draw the triangle. Okay. I redraw the triangle. This is A, B. Let's say here M. So, triangle A, B. M, A, B. And here X. This is 7. What is the length of A, M? A, Q is 4. So, B are 3, M, Q also 3. So, 4 minus 3 is 1. So, we can use Socha or Toa. Socha or Toa. This is adjacent. This is adjacent. And this is hypotenuse. A and H. A and H. So, Cha. A and H. Cos. Cos X equal to 1 over Seven. How to get x? X equal to shift cos one over seven to get shift cos one over seven. So this is equal to sixty one point seven nine degrees. So that is the answer. Okay, next. Example 20. So we have diagram, tire. This is wood. And this is wood. The point is W and here V and here Y. This is angle. This is tire. It is given that V is the point of contact between the tire and uh, road and the road. W is the point of contact between the wood and the tire, while Y is the point of contact between the wood and wood. The diameter of tire, the diameter, diameter equal to 50 cm. Let's say here center O. If diameter 25, uh, sorry, 50 so, radius is 50 divided by 2, equal to 25 cm. So, here is 25, 25. The distance of WY, distance of WY is 1.2 meter. Assuming that the road is a 
straight line calculate the distance of dy. So for A, what is dy? The distance of dy. This is radius and here also radius. I, if I draw a triangle, this is tangent and here also tangent. This angle are equal with this angle. Length also equal. V w, uh, Vy equal to Wy. So, this is equal to 1.2 meter. This is also 1.2 meter. Okay, B. The distance between the center of the tire and the point one meter. Say your answer correct to two decimal places. Two decimal places. The distance between the center of the tire and the point Y means O Y. Find O Y. Find O Y. So if I redraw, uh, I redraw the right angle triangle. This is O Y and B. This is 25 and here 1.2. So how to get O Y? We can use uh, Pythagoras theorem. Okay, Pythagoras theorem. O Y squared equal to 25 squared plus 1.2 squared. So O Y equal to square root of 25 squared plus 1.2 squared. So O Y equal to square root of 1.5025. So, O, Y equal to 1 point, so what is the answer? 25 squared plus 1.2 squared. And this is square root answer. Sorry. 25 is centimeter. Here is meter. So, cannot. Cannot combine the solution. Cannot combine uh, the unit. This is 0 0.25 meter. This is in meter. So here also in meter. Sorry. So this is 0 0.25 meter. So the answer here 0 0.25 squared plus 1.2 squared. So this is 1.2258 meter. 1.5025. Okay. O Y is 1.2258, but the question want you to give uh, in two decimal places. So this is 1.23 meters. That is the final answer. Plus, again, the unit must be same. 1.2 meter. Okay, 1.2 meter. So 25 is cm. Change to meter is 0. Point 0.25 meter. So 0 0.25 squared plus 1.2 squared. This is equal to O Y squared. Okay. So we get square root of 1.5025 square root. So you get 1.2258. But the question wants you to give in meter and two decimal places. So 1.23 meter. Okay. Careful. The unit must be same. Okay. Finish example 20 and finish. Uh, 6.3, subtopic 6.3. Okay, thank you class.